This is the Extra Point Podcast. All right, we are back. We are courtside at Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix. Mark McClune here with the hardest working man right now in show business, Sun Devil legend Tom Kuyper, who will call the 5A, the 6A, in the Open Division Championship high school basketball games here in Arizona. You have um, how many folders of notes do you have? <laughs> well, with me right now, I think 12. But, uh, yeah, when you talk about the last two weeks, it's been like 47, I think. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you keep it all straight? Because we've had games starting on Monday, and I'm like, that was a really good game, and I can't remember who won. I mean, it's just, it's just the March Madness. It's March Madness brain, I think. Let alone who played, right? Yeah. Well, I just, I, I, I've got my folders, and I just keep them, and, and I lock them in. I, I keep them in my briefcase, and I... I go back to them all the time. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it's been so much fun. We've had a lot of great finishes this week. Uh, we, we had the Brophy finish that was the number three, the top player on SportsCenter. We had that on the extra point. That was a great one. Uh, you're you're going to be over here. I'm expecting, uh, I mean, we have, we have six basketball games in, in the next 24-ish uh, hours here. So why don't we start with the 5A that you're calling, and, and let's just, you know, if, if you're driving over here and want to watch some good basketball, what can you expect? So let, let's start with the 5As. What are you expecting there? Well, yeah, I mean, you've got the, the, the new 5A system or the, the new system this year because you've got the open and then you've got 5A and 6A. So what I like about the, the 5A now is you've got teams that are alive still that maybe could have gotten knocked out earlier yeah, yeah. because um, uh, they, they get a place now to play. And so yeah. I like that system. I like the open and I like the way that it's given more teams more more chances and opportunities. Yeah. And tonight we got uh, Canyon View and Sunrise. Canyon View was interesting uh, the other night, the, the, the girls, because I hadn't been out to Waddell, Arizona. I, I mean, maybe in a, in a long time. I was surprised <laughs> by how rocking the gym was and, and, and how just uh, this crazy the atmosphere. I think a lot of those people are going to make the trip into Phoenix tonight. So what? That's the first game. That's at six o'clock on Friday night. And as you kind of look at that game, how do you? What are you looking for in that one? Well, you've got two extreme differences. Canyon View is filled with freshmen, and yeah. then on the other side, uh, Sunrise Mountain has experience. They've got seniors. Uh, Sunrise Mountain puts up about 58 points a game. Canyon View puts up 40. So you've got two different styles of play. Sunrise Mountain's going to get out. They're going to want to set the pace. They're going to try and go fast. They're going to try and put lots of points up. Uh, Canyon View on the other side is going to want to slow it down. They don't have the experience, so they want to yeah. keep it under control. So two contrasting styles of play. Yeah, no, certainly. And that's uh, we'll, we'll see which one gives tonight. So that's that's the 6 o'clock game. Uh, watch, watch the telecast. Uh, watch, watch the webcast here with Tom. And the telecast... Uh, we're we're going to have the games on TV on Saturday. We're excited about that. But let's uh, let's stick with Friday first. Let's not get up ahead of ourselves because we got Millennium and Campo Verde. That's the boys' game. That's the nightcap at eight o'clock. Uh, we saw Millennium. Millennium's got two teams here in the state championship. Uh, the Millennium Tigers. I've been trying for a while to get them to change their name to the Millennium Falcons because I'm a Star Wars nerd. Uh, how do you how do you how do you see that one shaking down? It's a great matchup because you got one and two, and that's exactly how you want to have it come up. Uh, Millennium doesn't have a senior. They've got four juniors, four freshmen, and wow. five sophomores. And so they're coming into this game, too, just hoping that chemistry trumps experience and talent. And on the other side, with Campo Verde, six of their leading scores are all upperclassmen. Wow. Five seniors, one junior in the upper um, scoring department for Campo Verde. So Again, in this matchup, you've got contrasting styles of play. You've got a Campo Verde team that really is going to put the ball out and go. They, they average about 62 points a game, so they're going to get out and go. And then you've got Millennium, who might want to try and slow it down and, and not challenge the experience as much, but kind of yeah. go with team chemistry. Yeah, and you wonder how that, how that plays in this arena. It's kind of a new environment. There's a lot of eyes on this one. Can you get a little out of control from, from your playing days over there in Tempe? Yeah, well, you know, one thing that needs to be talked about that a lot of people don't understand, I experienced it, you get into an arena like this yeah. as opposed to being in your high school where you've got a wall behind the basket that's about 10 to 12 feet behind the basket. Yeah. So you've got this border back there. In an arena like this, there's nothing behind the backboard, so it just feels like you're shooting into open space. It really takes a while to adjust to that. I remember going to, to ASU and that, 
you know, shooting that first air ball because there's nothing, it just, it feels like you're throwing a rock into an ocean and just yeah. hope that you hit something. So right. that'll take an adjustment for a lot of these players. No, for sure. I mean, I'm looking at it right now and I mean, yeah, that's why they're in here really getting a, a good workout in for an hour. The Sunny Slow boys playing in the Open Division Championship. We're going to get to that in a minute, but uh, let's go to 6A now. Valley Vista versus Dobson in girls. Uh, Valley Vista has been one of the premier programs around here for, for a long time now. They're playing in 6A. They would seem to be the uh, the favorite here. We were over at Dobson the other night, and I, look, I like that you're going to all your folders. This is fun. Uh, if you're watching the television copy of this, um, it's like a, an open note test. Yeah, it is exactly. <laughs> well, you get them all mixed up after a while. You know who's playing and what division are they? But how do you keep Valley Vista out of the out of the the, the championship game? Right? Right, right. They have got so much. Uh, legacy in getting to this point. They've got a new coach this year, and they still get to the championship game for 6A. Yeah. And they have the, the best mascot for my money in Arizona sports, which is the monsoon. The monsoon warning every time, the purple smoke. That's uh, that's fun. I, I like going out there. Well, and that's my, uh, the monsoon. I played at Mayfair High School in California. We were the Mayfair monsoon, so there you really? go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I thought we were the only ones who had oh. uh, the monsoon uh -huh. out here. So, yeah, it's, uh, and, and, and I'm also trying to get Millennium to change their name to the Falcons. Oh, I did say that. The Falcons. Yeah, that's my, that's my goal. All right, so uh, as we go to boys 6A now, and, and we saw this the other night. This, this was the, 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 the number three play on SportsCenter, uh, the, uh, Brophy. Brophy versus Highland. Highland played Mountain View the other night in the state semifinals. And John Gustafson, who's running the camera right now, got an amazing shot. Mountain View had a chance to win the game. The ball went halfway down, and it popped out. Meanwhile, so Mountain View goes home. Highland goes to the title game. And then Brophy moves on with a buzzer beater. Did you have a chance to catch that one? We did the call. Oh, yeah, it was right, right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Armin Maddy hits that jumper from just inside the half court mark to the right and it it erupted yeah. it, it, the place went wild the 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 students come crashing out onto the floor it was an unbelievable finish i remember being there last year when perry played brophy in the semifinals and it went to triple overtime yeah that was a great game it was awesome brophy ended up on the short end that time but what a great finish and yeah. you know talking with maddie after the game too He's waited so long to get to this this point right now, and he's so hungry to bring a title, the first basketball title to Brophy. That's a little hard to believe, especially after the Mark Allery days back yeah. in the day. They haven't won one yet. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. All right, so uh, we move to the open division now, and this, you know, we've got a dynasty brewing, according to Nick King on the extra point the other night. He went out and uh, and he talked to talked to the Jersey girl, who's, uh, you know, I mean, she's the most impressive girls basketball player that I've seen. And we've we've produced a lot of really good girls basketball players, women's basketball players here in Arizona. Uh, I would think Desert Vista has the edge, but uh, the Millennium Tigers, don't call us, the Falcons are here, and uh, and they're ready to, to, to try to make a run at this thing. Well, Millennium's uh, putting up, getting ready to, to get their fourth title in a row. I mean, they get here all the time. Dave Williams, the coach at, at Desert Vista, uh, longtime friend of mine, brother of Paul Williams, who I played with at ASU, but Dave knows the game. I don't know that you could find a better coach in Arizona. And the way that he works with the girls, the girls love to play for him. He's definitely that kind of a coach where you can get out and run. You don't feel like um, you're going to get pulled if you make mistakes, you know. And so it gives the, those girls the freedom to just create and, and have fun. And, yeah, Jersey, a <laughs> freshman. And I tell you, she is everything that, that – that, has been talked about or you watch her play and she has the skill level and the the fundamentals of, of a freshman in college it's unbelievable right, right, when you right. watch her go to work yeah no absolutely that's gonna be a fun one to watch and yeah can, can desert vista i mean if, if she's a freshman i think this is uh this is they're, they're in for a long run here of being uh you know here at veterans memorial coliseum and uh, and and knocking at the door for state championships so we're here uh on media day sunny slope is on the floor sunny slope He's going to take on the mighty Perry Pumas. You got Ray Portello's team. What? Look out. Basketball coming in, Gus. Good play. Good play there. Do you have the roster? I don't have uh, the roster in front of me. Number 11 for Sunny Slope just saved, saved Gus. 
We got it somewhere. I'll look it up here. Ian but uh, Waxman. Ian, Wa Ian, Wax Ian Waxman. Look at look at that. All of your notes. Doesn't get much time, but he had the play of the day right there. Yeah, he did. Yes, <laughs> yes. He saved John Gustafson, who's going to shoot um, all these games, and uh, and then we're going to get him a new shoulder. Uh, but how do you see this one breaking down? Obviously, with with Koa Pete. And, and with Cody Williams, Perry is, is one of an all-time team, two NBA guys. But, you know, that's why they play the games, right? Yeah, I mean, they played earlier. 71-46 was the score the first time Perry got to Sunny Slope. But um, this is a good Sunny Slope team. They, they have a lot of freshmen. And so if there's a negative, it's not having that experience. And then you go to the Perry side, yeah. and they've got – all Americans, you know, they've got some future D1 players. Yeah. You look at a guy like Pete, um, Koa Pete, and yeah. the way that he gets up, it's unbelievable. He threw some dunks down in a couple games that we saw that, like, where did that come? He's an unbelievable talent. Yeah, no, he is. I, I mean, I would, I would imagine everybody's picking Perry in this one, but, you know, we've seen crazy upsets before. What's it going to take for Sonny Slope to pull off an upset? Well, anything can happen. You know, you get to a game like this and anything can, you know, Liberty gave Perry everything they could handle and Perry ended up getting on top of them. Yeah. Pinnacle beat Perry this year, so it can happen. Yeah. Um, Sunny Soap's going to have to play a flawless game. They're really going to have to go out and hold their turnovers to a minimum. Every possession is going to be crucial for Sunny Slope. Yeah. They can't give the ball up. And then, yeah, you got to focus on Cody Williams and Koa Pete, and you got to stop those guys from going off. And so yeah. it, it, it's going to be a hard, hard, hard fought battle. And Sunny Slope's really going to have to play a flawless game to come out on top of this one. Yeah, well, we're going to let you rest your voice because you have to talk, I think, consecutively. Um, I don't know, eight of the next 24 hours. So uh, thank you for your time. Always enjoy catching up. We should, yeah, we should do this every year, your high school basketball preview with Tom Kuyper. Let's do it. I love it. Are there any more Thanks, pictures man. of you at the perm, by the way? <laughs> They're all over. Yeah, if you get on the internet, unfortunately, they're there. I can't get rid of them. Yeah, you can just bring the perm back. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen, but yeah, <laughs> thank you, yeah. All right, thank you, Tom. And hey, the Extra Point Podcast live from Veterans Memorial Coliseum is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.